Hey everyone, so today I'm in a park over here in northern Texas and um, I'm uh, wandering around here in the rivers or I don't even know, those little streams. Now I'm looking for snails, snails that look kind of like this. I haven't found any live ones yet, but um, if we do, then uh, hopefully we can take a bunch home and uh, cook them up. Alright, this looks like a promising spot to start out. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just looking along... Oh, let's just go inside the riverbank here. And we're just going to be looking around. I think I may have found something here. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to be looking around. There could be a little... some crayfish. Um... Well, so it could be those snails. The water's pretty cold right now. It's December. Whoa. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we find something. That'd be cool. It's getting a little deep over here. And to be honest, uh, I'm really surprised how few crayfish there are in here. Creeks like this over in California would be just crawling with crayfish. It's insane. They got tons, big ones, small ones, all different kinds. You know, the signal crayfish, red swamp crayfish. But I don't see that much over here over in Texas, even though I know there are. Well, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> Let's go find some clear water, or maybe some running water. Water here is a lot warmer. Never know. Ah, what we found here a floating dead snail. Oh, there's another one right over there. That's a good sign. We got a couple snails here. Oh, this one still has its door, even. But yeah, it's dead. Oh, look at that. That's a live one right here. All right, you guys, <laughs> that's our first snail. I don't know exactly what species this is, but it does resemble the apple snail a lot. And, um, you know, I'm sure they're a lot like them in taste. So um, this is what we're looking for. That's a good sign we got one. All right, you guys, let's keep looking. Let's hope we can get like, I don't know. <laughs> let's go for five first. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's that many. Oh, you know, this one's alive. Nice. Oh. Ooh, I think this one's good too. Yes, you can tell by their weight. <laughs> and if they still have their door, their operculum right there. So, nice. Okay. We got a few. Yeah. Here. Woo! There it is, there it is, you guys. Woo! Look at that. This one's, that's a, that's a different type of snail. Right here. Nice. Well, he's a little guy, so 
Just let him go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's a water bug. That's a type of water bug. Is it alive? Oh, uh, nope. I think it's dead. But yeah, that's a, that's like a water boatman. Yeah, look at that. See his hind legs right here that uses his swim? Or, I mean, it, it might not be a boatman, but it kind of looks like one. Dang, that's awesome. I mean, those water bugs are pretty creepy, and I, I heard they bite too, but yeah, look at that. There's a different species of snail right over here. Tiny little guy. Let's set that one free. So we got quite a little stash here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright you guys, so uh, done quite a bit of searching for the past uh, hour, so uh, I think um, I'm ready to head back, got my bag of, cl uh, <laughs> bag of snails here, and uh, yeah let's head back and uh, let's uh, see what we can do with them. Alright you guys, see you back. Yeah. Alright you guys, so I got this clean fresh water here, not too high. Um, you want it low enough or else, you know, there won't be enough oxygen in the water. But, uh, yeah, we're going to put the snails in here and we're going to um, let them uh, get themselves cleaned up, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these monstrosities. Alright, so it's been approximately a week now, and I think they've had enough time to purge, but they're still really dirty, and I need to figure out a way to scrub these while disposing of this water properly. So, um, it uh, by now, the mystery of what these snails are called has been solved. They're called the well the the chinese mystery snail it's it's pretty crazy name but anyways it turns out they're highly invasive so we should be really careful about proper disposal of this water so i'm going to scrub these guys down with a toothbrush um, inside of this bucket and get all the gunk off the outside um after that uh, but the good old bleach yeah, we're gonna make sure everything is dead before we flush it. Alright, here are our snails. Okay, so these are gonna be twice cooked because they could have parasites. So we're gonna first boil them down, take out the meat, remove all the guts, and then we're gonna do a little stir fry. Okay, so now that we got the snails all cooked up, here's the meat. So we're gonna try to get it out. Be with like a, something that could stick inside. There we go. All right. And uh, there's a lot of guts on this. Now we don't wanna eat these guts at all. I don't know, they might even have parasites. So just leave that in the shell. And we're only gonna take the front half which is this nice morsel. It's all nice and squishy. This is their foot. You're going to want to eat this. This only, okay?
Dang, look at this, you guys. It turned those disgusting snails into this uh, little delicacy right here. Well, it's time to eat. So, uh, here it is. Snails. Smells good. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, um, I have eaten snails just like this before in China. I remember one of my dad's cousins took me out into the rice fields. And inside the little irrigation channels, they were just like snails. He called them Tian Luo. I don't know if that's what these are, but probably because these are from China. Mmm. Not bad. Got the rice too. Okay. So. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Miss you, snail. The snail meat right there. Not bad at all. So yeah, who would have thought those disgusting looking freshwater snails would come up with quite the delicacy. It is really small though, as you can tell. It is tiny. Like all those snails, all that work. It is tiny, but it is fun too. And if you're in a survival situation, you might just want to eat snails. But definitely boil them first, like kill them. They have parasites. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, so it was super awesome. We went around, we dug up a bunch of snails. Even found a couple of freshwater clams in China. But yeah, and we cooked it just like this. It was really good too. Really helps chase the rice. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That was fun. Like walking around the park in the morning. That was nice and peaceful, you guys. Uh, maybe I can do it again sometime. Um, but, uh, I got an upcoming trip with my friend. We're gonna go catch some oysters. And so, stay tuned for that one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.